NCIED NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page Number 126 Chapter Number 19 Our Friends Animal The children in the class were startled on hearing the sound Tuck. The sound came from the ceiling fan. Kalyani shouted. Look, look! A bird is hurt! Peter got up at once and picked up the bird. It was in pain. There is a picture given on page number 126. In the picture, there is an injured bird lying upside down in two hands. Navjot and Ali quickly brought water in a bowl. Peter lovingly patted the bird. They held the bowl to the bird's beak. It drank a little water and slowly started flapping its wings. Navjot told all the children to move back. They noticed that the bird was trying to fly. In a while, the bird flew away. There is a picture given on page number 126 again. Three children are looking at the flying bird. They are happy. Page number 127 Next day, the children saw a bird circling above them in their classroom. The children tried to find out whether it was the same bird that was hurt the previous day. They quickly switched off the fan and started to clap. There is an exercise given on page number 127. Here on the left side, five sentences are given and in front of each sentence is a blank box given on the right side. Sentences given are not in the correct order. Sentences are Peter lovingly patted the bird. The children saw a bird circling in their classroom. Navjot and Ali quickly brought water in a bowl. The bird flew away. The bird hurt itself with the fan. Put the sentences in the correct order by giving them numbers in the boxes given. Shankar was very happy. A cat had given birth to four kittens in the courtyard of his house. He started spending his free time with them. There is a picture given on page number 127. In this picture, a cat is smiling with three newborn kittens. One morning, Shankar was woken up by the cat's cry. Do you know how a cat cries? He ran towards the courtyard. He saw that the cat was crying and cuddling its three kittens. One of the kittens was missing. He went outside and found Malini patting a kitten. Shankar called Malini into his courtyard. Malini saw the cat crying. What do you think Malini would have done? Note, discussion on feelings in animals will help develop Sensitivity in children towards them. Page number 128 Bholi is Minu's cow. Minu takes Bholi to the field to graze daily. One day, a speeding scooter hit Bholi and hurt her leg. The wound was bleeding heavily. There is a picture on page number 128. In this picture, a cow is hurt and its leg is bleeding heavily. 
वॉट विल पीपल इन मीनूस फैमिली डू चंदू धोबी लुक्स आफ्टर हिज डोंकी वेरी वेल द डोंकी टू डज अ लॉट ऑफ हिज वर्क लुक एट द पिक्चर्स एंड राइट वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट चंदू डज फॉर हिज डोंकी Here is a picture on page number 128. This picture is divided into four parts. In the first part, a man is pouring water on the donkey. In the second part, a man is there with grass in his hands and donkey is eating it. In the third picture, man is holding a pot of water and donkey is drinking water. In the fourth one there is a garland around the donkey's neck and the man is placing flowers on donkey's head on the right side there are four blank spaces given now on the basis of the given description write your answer in the space provided page number 129 do you or any of your neighbors have a pet which one write your answer in the blank space given here 2 what name have you given to your pet write your answer in the space provided what do you do when your pet is a hungry b feeling hot or cold c teased by someone or d hurt write your answers for each question in the space provided on the right side of the questions we keep some pet animals at home we look after them too in the table below are the names of some such animals complete the table there is a table given on page number 129 it has two columns on the left side name of the animal is written and on the right side why do we keep them is written there are eight blank spaces given in both the columns some of the names of the animals are missing and some reasons to keep them are missing but if the name is missing reason is given to identify the animal and if the reason is missing name is given to tell the reason to keep them for example name of the dog is given but why do we keep it is not given now you have to write why do you keep a dog in the right column follow the same method to complete the table note we keep animals as pets and look after them an understanding of this relationship will help children develop an understanding of interdependence of living beings in the environment page number 130 bird bath take a small earthen pot having a wide mouth tie the pot with a rope and hang it as given in the picture pour some water in the pot and hang it on the branch of a tree or on a hook outside your house pour water in it every day observe which birds come to drink water there is a picture on page number 130 there is a small earthen pot having a wide mouth hanging from the tree a bird is sitting on the edge of the pot and drinking water like us animals also need water to live there are many other things which are required by both animals and humans write the names of three such things write your answer in the blank space provided here you must have included food in your list you know that we eat a variety of food similarly animals do eat different kinds of food one 
Have you ever fed any animal or seen anyone else feeding any animal? If yes, then fill in the table. Note. Help children make a bird bath. Keep the bird bath outside in the open so that the children can observe the birds closely and get to know about them. Page number 131. There are two columns given here on this page. On the top of the left hand side column, it is written, Name of the animal you fed. At the top of the right hand side column, it is written, What did you feed? Fill the blanks with the name of the animal you fed and the food item you fed the animal. 2. Why do you feed these animals? 3. Which animal did most children feed? 4. What did they feed? 5. Do you have these names in your list? Find out what these animals eat. There is a small blue box given on page number 131. In the box, there are names of some animals given. You have to find out what these animals eat. The names of the animals given are Rat Cockroach Pig Bat Crow Squirrel Monkey Spider Lizard Think, has any animal ever eaten your food against your will? How? Write down your answer in the space provided here. Page number 132 Who eats what? Match by drawing lines of different colours. One example is shown. There is a diagram given on page number 132. There are 11 blank shapes given here. Inside the shapes, names of different creatures and food items they eat is given. Match by drawing lines of different colours. As one may eat more than one item. One example is given here. The names mentioned in the boxes are Grass Sparrow Lizard Rat Human being Chapati fruits vegetables Chapati Goat Mosquito Ant Snake for example, name of the creature is goat and the food item it eats is chapati, fruits, vegetables, chapati or grass. Write the names of the animals. Here, a table has been given on page number 132. This table has three columns. At the top of the first column, it is written, You have touched. At the top of the second column, it is written, You have not touched, but you can touch. At the top of the third column, it is written, You cannot touch. Identify the animals which you have touched the animals which you have not touched but you can touch and the animals which you cannot touch and write those names in these columns. We do not go near some animals for the fear that they may bite us, harm us or eat us up. You have seen that there are some animals whom we can touch. These often live in our houses or around us. Of these, a few animals help us in many ways. Note, it can be discussed with the children that touching animals means patting them lovingly and not teasing them. 
The picture given on the next page shows balance in nature. It is essential to clarify this to the children in a simple and easy manner. Page number 133 The Queen's Garden Read this picture and discuss in the class. There is a picture given on page number 133. This picture is divided into three sections. In the first picture, there is a queen. She has two mangoes in her hand. And the gardener is sitting down on the ground with three baskets full of mangoes. He is giving one mango to the queen. Queen is happy. In the second picture, the gardener is asking to forgive him. And the queen is in angry mood. There is a scene from the next year in the third picture. The gardener is sitting in front of the queen with a basket full of mangoes. But there are fewer mangoes than the last year. And the queen is getting angry with the gardener. Now, let's read the story. 1. The gardener has brought mangoes from the queen's garden. 2. The queen says, So many mangoes! Good! 3. The gardener says, Your Majesty, there would have been double the amount if the birds had not eaten them. 4. The queen replies, What did you say? The birds have eaten the mangoes? Why did you allow the birds into the garden? 5. The gardener says, Please, forgive me. I will not let any bird come into the garden. Next year. 6. The queen says, Fewer mangoes than last year. Why did you not stop the birds from entering the garden? 7. The gardener says, I stopped them, your majesty. I did not let a single bird enter. But this year, the insects have eaten the mangoes. 8. Oh, if there had been birds, then they would have eaten the insects. We would not have lost so many mangoes then. Chapter number 19 Our friend's animal ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3 Recorded by Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Production Assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India